Hello and a very warm welcome to the News in Flash column presented to you by Law Seco. I am Anupam Bhadri here and now let's proceed into the News in Flash for 28th January 2022. First off, we have in Assam 246 insurgents of two outfits lay down their arms and surrender. A total of 246 terrorists from two outfits of Assam, the Tiwa Liberation Army or the TLA and the United Gorkha Peoples Organization or UGPO formally surrendered and laid down their arms. Formed in 2014, TLA was mainly active in Marigao, Nagao, and West Kirby Anglong districts. While UGPO, which was formed in 2007, was active in Kokrajhar, Chirang, Baksha, and Bishwanath districts. In the same events, 462 former militants of five different terrorist outfits, Rabha National Liberation Front 28. National Shautal Liberation Army 41, Adivasi Dragon Fighters 61, National Liberation Front of Bengalis 303, and United People's Revolutionary Front 29, who had surrendered last year, were handed over financial grants of rupees 1.5 lakh each by the CM for their rehabilitation. Up next, we have upgraded permission for Covaxin and Covishield. Central Drug Standard Control Organization has upgraded the permission for Covaxin and Covishield from restricted use in emergency situations to normal new drug permission in adult population. This has been done with certain conditions. He added that the conditions include supply for programmatic settings, including registration on Covin platform, and to continue to submit safety data on a six monthly basis. Thirdly, we have India's women unsung heroes. Minister of State for Culture Minakshi Lekhi has released the pictorial comic book India's Women Unsung Heroes in New Delhi. The book has been prepared by Culture Ministry in partnership with Amar Chitra Katha. The book portrays the tales of valor of our forgotten women freedom fighters. Mrs. Lekhi said that the book is a fitting tribute to the forgotten heroes of our freedom struggle as it celebrates the lives of women who lit the flame of rebellion throughout the country. The minister said that it contains stories of queens who battled imperialism and dedicated their lives for Maa Bharati. Next up, we have hockey great Charanjit Singh, who led India to gold in Tokyo 1964. Dies. In Indian hockey history, 1964 is known as the year when the country regained its supremacy in the sport. Having lost the 1960 Rome Olympics finals to their nemesis Pakistan, India reclaimed the crown four years later in Tokyo, beating the same opposition. At the center of that golden moment was the team's skipper Charanjit Singh, who on Thursday morning passed away in Una, Himachal Pradesh, aged 92. The hockey legend, who was partially paralyzed after suffering a stroke five years ago. He was also accorded the Arjuna in 1963, becoming the only second man in hockey after colleague Prith Prithipal Singh to be given the award. He was also honored with Padma Shri, the fourth highest civilian award in 1964. So this was all for the news in Flash today. We hope you liked the session. For getting notified about further sessions, click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon. Thank you. 